Let's take a look at Azure AI Language. This is one of the Azure AI services, and the language service is focused on natural language processing, or NLP, functionality. You can use the service with a REST API or an SDK. We are going to see how to use the SDK with Python. We will look at two features of the language service. Sentiment analysis predicts the mood of a body of text, and it will evaluate the mood as positive, negative, or neutral. Key phrase extraction will predict the main concepts in a body of text. We will also see how to use Azure Language Studio online to explore both of these. Before writing any code, we need to provision an instance of the language service in the Azure portal. Go to portal.azure.com in a browser. Search for language in the box at the top of the page, and select the language service in the results. Click the Create button to provision an instance. Not all of the features of the language service are enabled by default. We won't be using any of the optional features, so click the button Continue to create your resource. Here we will configure the language service instance. You'll need to select an Azure subscription and a resource group or create a new one. And select a region. Provide a name for the language service instance and select a pricing tier. The language service is included in the Azure free tier that you can learn more about by going to the URL at the bottom of the screen. Since I've already used mine for another instance, I'll select the S tier. Before provisioning the service, you must check the box confirming that you won't use the language service to do anything improper. Accept the default values on the rest of the tabs and click the Review plus Create button. The next page will validate your configuration. When everything is OK, you can click the blue Create button. It only takes a minute to create the instance, but I'll speed it up through the magic of video. Once the provisioning is complete, click the blue Go to Resource button. The next page might appear to be overwhelming, but we only need one part of it. On the left, expand Resource Management and click on Keys and Endpoint. On the other side of the screen, you'll see two masked keys. These will be used to authenticate yourself to the language service. In other words, treat them like passwords and keep them safe. Notice the links to regenerate the keys. If one happens to be exposed, or just to rotate them, you can switch to the other key while regenerating the compromised one without any downtime. Also notice the endpoint, which does not have to be kept secret, but it's a common practice to store it, along with the key, in environment variables. Let's switch the Visual Studio code. I've already got a virtual environment set up, and now we need to install some packages. Open the terminal window with the keyboard shortcut Control Backtick, and the first package to install is python-env. This package makes it easy to emulate environment variables in a development environment. Create a file named .env in the Explorer panel. In that file, add two variables, one for the key and another for the endpoint. Copy and paste the key and endpoint from the Azure portal into the .env file. Create a new Python file in the Explorer panel called main.py. In main.py, import the OS module from the Python standard library and the load.env function from the .env module. Call the load.env function and you will be able to access the variables from the .env file just as you would an environment variable using the os.getenv function. Press F5 or click the Run button to verify that the variable was retrieved from the .env file. 
And now you can add a constant for the key. Now on to sentiment analysis. You need to install the package for the Azure AI language SDK. Azure-AI-TextAnalytics. There is a small amount of setup that you need to create a client object and authenticate it. First, import the Azure Key Credential class from the Azure.Core.Credentials module. And from the Azure.AI.TextAnalytics module, import the Text Analytics Client class. Use the language key to create a new credential object and use the language endpoint and the credential to create a new client object. I have three documents that I used ChatGPT to generate. There is one with positive sentiment, one with negative sentiment, and another with neutral sentiment. These are stored in text files in the Explorer panel. I'll create a list called Documents to hold them. Next. I'll iterate over all the text files. I'll open each one and read the contents of the file and append it to the documents list. Now for the hard part. We're going to predict the sentiment of each document. Call the analyze sentiment method of the client and pass it the documents list. Okay, that wasn't much work at all. But it makes a point. Using Azure AI services along with the SDK reduces the hard work of making predictions down to a single line of code. Everything else has been boilerplate configuration. And all that's left is to process the results. That's what makes your application unique so you can focus on it. There is one result returned per document. Each result contains an overall sentiment of positive, negative, or neutral. There is also a group of confidence scores for the positive, negative, and neutral sentiment. Press F5 or click the Run button to see the results. Let's do a quick sanity check to see how it did. Open positive.txt. It talks about the fantastic addition, the positive impact, heartwarming, vibrant hub. This appears to be a positive document. And the Azure AI language service agrees as it is 90% sure that the document is positive. In fact, it is absolutely sure that the document is not negative. The next document is different. Open negative.txt. It includes phrases like disappointing, longer wait time, crowded buses, and hassle. These are negative and that's what the language service has predicted with a 94% confidence score. And open neutral.txt. There are no phrases in here that have a strong sentiment of positive or negative, so the language service is 90% sure that the document is neutral. It detected some slight positive or negative language, but nothing significant. In addition to the document level, the language service also analyzes the documents at the sentence level. It will return the overall sentiment and confidence scores for each sentence. We won't do that here, but we will see it later on in Azure Language Studio. Let's move on to key phrase extraction. The good news is that most of the work has been done. We can reuse the client from before. To get the phrases that are the important concepts in a document, we need to call the extract key phrases method on the client object and pass it the documents list. Again, there is a result for each document. In the result is a list of key phrases. Press F5 or click the run button. Take a look at the key phrases found in the first document. We see fantastic addition, positive impact, and vibrant hub. These are some of the same phrases that the analyze sentiment method used to predict that this document is positive. 
This is evidence that the service works. And you can read the key phrases for the other documents too. But for now, let's move on and look at Azure Language Studio. Go back to the Azure portal and the resource for the language instance we created. In the overview section, click the link for Get Started with Language Studio. You may be asked to sign in. Select the Azure subscription and language resource you want to use. Click the tab for Classify Text. One of the features available is Analyze Sentiment and Mine Opinions. Click it. There are several example documents that you can analyze by clicking on them, but I'm going to drag the positive document we just looked at into the Language Studio. In the options, set Enable Opinion Mining to Off. Below that, check the box to acknowledge that Language Studio will use the resource you selected and you may be billed for it. Click the blue Run button. In Examine the Results, Language Studio will graphically report the results. First, it shows the sentiment for the entire document. Again, this is positive, along with the confidence scores. Then, it shows the sentiment and confidence scores for each sentence in the document. Click the JSON tab to see the raw JSON that is returned from the REST API. You would have to parse this manually, but the SDK not only parses the JSON, it puts it in language-specific objects that are consumable by your application. Go back to the Language Studio homepage. Click the Extract Information tab. And click Extract Key Phrases. Again, I'll drag the positive document into Language Studio, check the box acknowledging usage of the resource, and click the blue Run button. Language Studio shows a graphical representation of the key phrases. Each one is underlined in orange. This is useful because you can see the phrases in context instead of listing them, which is all that the JSON provides you. And you can see that in the JSON tab. And that's how sentiment analysis and key phrase extraction work in the Azure AI language service. If you want to clean up the resource to prevent getting billed, Go back to the resource group, not the resource, in the Azure portal. Click Delete Resource Group. Copy the name of the resource group and paste it in the box to confirm deletion. The Delete button will be enabled and you can click it.